The war with Ukraine will be over by the end of the year. Top Russian general. Top Russian general Apti Alodinov, commander of Akhmat Special Forces Unit and a supporter of President Vladimir Putin, claims the war with Ukraine will be over by the end of the year, according to Newsweek. Alodinov, who leads the Chechen forces in the conflict, was appointed by Putin in April as deputy head of the Defense Ministry's military political department. During a state TV broadcast with Olga Skabayeva, Alodinov discussed the current state of military affairs and his projection for the end of the two-plus-year-long war that started with Putin's February the 24th, 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Skabayeva, along with her husband, Duma member Yevgeny Popov, was sanctioned by the US State Department in 2023 in part for their talk show where they predominantly disseminate pro-Russia propaganda for the war against Ukraine. In a YouTube video posted on X by journalist Julia Davis, Founder of Russian Media Monitor, a watchdog group that translates Russian videos, Skabayeva asked Alodinov about the slowing pace of Russian progress in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city. Not directly addressing Skabayeva's concerns, Alodinov claimed that Russian forces have made a very serious breakthrough and quite a lot of territory was liberated, indicating from his perspective that Russia gained territory. Newsweek says that he further stated that Ukraine had moved a lot of forces there, most of their units, to the northeastern region that has long been a focal point of the war. This will be a decisive battle for us in which we will destroy the remaining forces and means. After that, I believe, as I've already said earlier, we will finish the special military operation this year. The commander said, adding that we will put an end to it. He said that everything is proceeding as it should and ultimately we will finish all of it with a final decisive battle, which I believe will be victorious for us. Ramzan Kadyrov stole billions of dollars in cash from Putin. The head of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, has created a network of front companies that receive budget money and cash it out in favor of his relatives. Project Media Outlet found out. We are talking about the companies Benafon, Orbiter and Emerald. The first two are among the top Chechen companies in terms of revenue, 40 and 41 billion rubles, respectively. Their statements say that they own assets worth 150 billion rubles. According to investigators, these are the so-called lively companies created to cover up illegal activities. Through them, Kadyrov receives money stolen from the budget or paid in the form of rent by businessmen who enjoy the patronage of the head of the republic. All three have one nominal owner, there are practically no employees and contractors. Journalists were able to track the money withdrawal scheme using the financial statements of Benafon that were at their disposal. In 2023, 64.8 billion rubles were transferred to the company's accounts. Almost a third of its money was transferred from the budget of Chechnya. For example, the mayor's office of Grozny transferred 1.49 billion rubles, indicating that the funds are intended for the repair of city schools. At the same time, the amount was divided into 1.400 tranches, most of which amounted to 600,000 rubles. In total, Benafon received funds equal to 16% of the budget of Grozny, whose mayor is the nephew of the head of Chechnya, Kas Magomed Kadyrov. Another 16.3 billion rubles were transferred to companies controlled by the Kadyrov clan, which receive state contracts from the government of the republic. These firms are created through the Akhmat Kadyrov Foundation, headed by the mother of the head of Chechnya. For example, his daughter, the Megastroy Invest Company, became the owner of state contracts for 24 billion rubles, following from the analysis of the public procurement service Contour.Focus. It also transferred 3.2 billion rubles to Benafon. The remaining funds came from private companies or were deposited in cash, likely as payment for power support or cash-out services. In total, in 2023, the company received an amount equal to half of the budget of Chechnya. At the same time, 58.9 billion rubles were withdrawn from it. For this purpose, the mechanism of interest-free loans was used. Billions were given mainly to young Chechens from the Shali district. Thus, 30-year-old taxi driver Muslim Muradov received 4.6 billion rubles from Benafon. Two others provided him with similar funds. In total, he borrowed 14 billion rubles. Muradov cashed most of the amount, 11 billion rubles, in a branch of the state bank 
VTB. Thus, he could receive more than two tons of cash if the money was issued in 5,000 bills. The project calculated another 8.4 billion. Muradov bought about a ton of bars in the same VTB. The taxi driver sent the remaining 3 billion to third parties, also issuing it as an interest-free loan. In total, 48 billion rubles withdrawn from Benafon were distributed among 15 Chechens. 4.6 billion was received by the head of the Housing and Communal Services Department of the Vedino District, Duk Vaka Movsurov. Another 2.2 billion was given to 28-year-old Ayub Berdukev from Sazenyut, who five years ago was involved in a criminal case on the theft of 13,000 rubles. In addition, the Kadyrov clan has denominations for businesses outside the republic. So, Sergei Kropachev recorded shares in the Starbucks coffee chain and McDonald's fast food restaurants that left Russia after the outbreak of the war in Ukraine. And numerous Moscow businesses are registered on Pavel Krotov, forcefully seized by the Kadyrovites, the investigators note.